I'm back bursting bubbles this week with three more of London's urban myths. If you're new, my name's Katie. I'm a qualified London blue badge tourist guide and the founder of Look Up London, which runs public walks and private tours across the capital. You can sign up for the new weekly blog posts and also hear about the walks in the links in the description. Today we're discussing three urban myths. Firstly, why is Chanel on every Westminster lamppost? What's the real story behind the hardy tree in St Pancras Old Churchyard? And also, did the last duel in England take place in Pickering Place? First up, all over Westminster, you will see these elaborate lampposts with what looks suspiciously like Coco Chanel's iconic symbol. Historically, and still today, the Dukes of Westminster, the Grosvenor family, are major landowners here. And it is true that in the 1920s, Hugh Grosvenor, the second Duke of Westminster, had an affair with Coco Chanel. This affair was littered with stories of grand romantic gestures. And one of these is supposedly that he loved Coco Chanel so much, he put her symbol on every lamppost in Westminster. However, in 2010, The Telegraph wrote an article saying that they'd spoken to Martin Law of Westminster Council, and he confirmed that yes, the fashion press often called up the council to ask if Coco Chanel was on Westminster lampposts. His response, it's a nice story, but no. The W's just stand for Westminster and the entwined C's Sadly, just Westminster City Council. So not as glamorous, and these lampposts were actually only installed in the 1950s. Next up, we're a short walk from St Pancras International to look at this beautiful and eerie collection of tombstones. It's a really old part of London, and the church within the churchyard has parts dating back to the 11th century. But if we skip forward to the 19th century, there was a lot of change happening here. In 1864, the Midland Rail Company bought a section of land to plough a railway straight through this graveyard. So the next year, 1865, begins the gruesome task of removing the bodies and reburying them elsewhere in the churchyard. The man tasked with this is the famous poet Thomas Hardy who in the 1860s was an apprentice architect working under Arthur Bloomfield. So the story goes that Hardy, with his creative vision, decoratively stacked up the tombstones around this tree in the churchyard. However, a problem arises in this photograph, taken in 1926, with the tombstones, but no tree. The photograph, which is available to buy as a print on antiquesandmaps.com, is credited under the photographer Patterson and titled St Pancras Churchyard and its Disturbed Gravestones. I first came across these photos on the blog The London Dead, so thank you for this extra bit of info and I've linked to the full post in the description if you want to read it too. So although it is very much true that Thomas Hardy worked on this gruesome task in the graveyard, he probably didn't by his own hands rearrange these tombs which have now become famous as the Hardy Tree. Our last story is about the fabulous little alleyway in St James, Pickering Place. It gets its name from William Pickering, who owned the shops here in the early 1700s. Today you'll find the wine merchants, Berry Brothers and Rudd, and the whole facade just oozes history. So there's no doubt that it is an old and charming little public square, one of the smallest in London. And this makes it a somewhat improbable location for the various duels that have supposedly happened here over the centuries. So whether this is by sword fighting, I can't imagine flailing swords in this tiny place, or by pistols with bullets ricocheting off the walls, there's various claims online that this is the site of many duels and also the last duel held in England. However, 
For such a momentous occasion, you'd think at least the names of the participants would be recorded, or maybe just a date to get us started, but nothing. However, there are lots of references to the actual last recorded duel in England. This happened towards Windsor in 1852. It was between Frederick Cornet and Emmanuel Barthélemy. Both were French political refugees, and incidentally, they both had swords, but the final decider was with pistols, and Frederick was killed. So it could be that duels happened in Pickering Place after 1852, but I found no evidence, a date, or any names associated with it. As for whether duels took place here throughout the history, again, it's possible, it feels like a secret location, but it seems impractical to me. So there you have it. Again, huge apologies for bursting any bubbles, but I think it's always worth investigating these stories that are so often repeated that we think that they're true. I'll be back next time with more of London's unusual and hidden history.